The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Well, All Mother has protected us so far. I hope All Mother protects us continuously. And I think All Mother is being in reference to Gaia Prime. Now, we are now not that far. We have been here before. We have fought that storm bird that was up here, if you remember. We fought that storm, but I don't think we had to fight it again. I think that was a one-off. I randomly came up here, just accidentally finding it. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? All right. So I have to come up this way. There's no other way to go about it, but... Here. Yeah, it's guarded all right. But I can get through this. I think they... I don't think there's any more up here. I think I cleared them all out. I'll tuck that away. No, I think I'm, it's clear. I don't think there's any more here, so. Because if there was, they would have come after me by now. Brew that up later. Yep. Let's go around my way up. I mean, there is a safe point up. I'm just trying to get all this medicine back up to full strength. I could just quickly... Snow jump. haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Yeah. I mean, that's the campfire we started at. Not too close. To oh, okay. Damn it. Oh. Hello, Mr. Watcher. Uh, I don't remember how the hell I got up there the first time. Uh -huh. 
There it is. Now, I've really done the storm bird, so we don't have to fight that again. I hope. Well, I hope I know, because that thing was annoying. I fared better than I did the first time I fought one. Now I know what they're guarding. Because there was glint hawks up here, there was dormers. I never did get that save point in there, did I? Alright, we we'll go get it now. Should have brought a cart. Yeah, so we should did actually have a cart. Really? Blaze and ritual. That's fine. So I'm going to run out of it. Max. Didn't max everything anyway. Uh, I know I didn't come down this side, but I don't think there was anything left around here. These are helpful. Bitter, though. Yeah. <laughs> Turkey. Jetty. Mm, I think the final body was up there. This is coming really, really quick around here. It's unbelievable how quick they're coming. Uh, let's just quickly cross up some potions or resistances, sorry. So we've got plenty of this, that'd be fun. Freeze room, that's what I really need. I haven't really come across any in the. Treasure boxes, really, have I? I haven't even got past these, so. Oh, that's fine. Really? Good. Let's get rid of those uh, green rods. I got a 15% spear there, so that can go. I'm keeping that spear. All these greens are useless now. Here had the epic stormbird battle, but she didn't realise it was even there. All I was trying to do was trying to get out to advantage. Of it. Just have other things in the back. I 
just gonna quickly have a look around. I don't think there's anything more here. I can find sh freeze rhyme, that would be great. And we're glad to get rid of some of my sticks just to get. Shock wax, I got too much of it. Out of the mountain like it was an egg? Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. Yeah, so see all the carts and everything. I said something else had already been here before. I didn't realize it was so You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, you never just squeamish when I first came up here. was not there when I first came through because this was about where I was stuck before so I randomly came up here thinking oh well, I can easily get up there it's gonna be an easy room I didn't realize it was part of the main plot this is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in silence thank you it's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. So, where are you? There'll be enough time later for you to ransack this place. Oh, don't say that. I want to ransack it right now. Because if I don't, you're going to run. Alright, let's talk. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Why did you come here? I know you've been going down into the ground and everything just to find things out, but why? It looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death. Nineteen years Your birth. Ago. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. How the hell did you get past that Stormbird, then? If they closed in their ranks, how did you get past? 
What do we need to do to repair Gaia? Though? In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. And because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. Well, that's not good. Stupid question. Why aren't you here? We saw you face to face when you broke me out of Sunfall, but you're not here. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. Oh, so basically you're saying it's my responsibility to get through that door. Oh, okay, let's see where this is going. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Well, that's helpful. Thank you very much for... What are you doing over there? Can I not talk to you? Yes. Oh, uh, no. I need to get going. Yes, you do. Thought there might be more. Okay. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Alright. Am I going to be attacked? That's my first question. Going down there. Not before I go along here. Talk to the standard night. Oh, what's it like? Uh, it's fine. I'm okay. There we go. Guy Prime Arrival. Logging arrivals! Shan Margo! Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. Eleven hmm. counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. Hmm. You think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice? We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> oh, you will. You're what, 30? Reckon you'll be the one turning the lights off at the end. Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. Oh. So they came here. I'm guessing this was Elysium. Mind your footing. Thank you. So we're going. I'm not. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna do that. There's nothing on this level. The final answers we've been after. was that? And why do I feel worried? 
Oh. I suppose technically this place must be totally unsafe. this way. Just... Power cell! This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Yeah. Going to get it yet? Is there someone we can dig up? I believe we actually found it. It was just random. I wondered why you could actually go up there. Guess that's my way across. I guess so. I don't think there's anything more of a way. Whoa, oh my goodness, that is close. It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well. D well. Don't answer. Hmm. Could you possibly not just give me a well answer? Because I get rather worried by it. Oh, glad that's over. Uh, that's why I'm going. There's nothing here. I'm not spotting anything, so. The drops don't seem to be that bad, so. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Oh, so we have to go up. Oh, okay. <laughs> up, not down. <laughs> Anything down here? Nope, just a dead end. Okay. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Yep. Blasted open the destruction of Gar Prime 19 years ago. So we're going down there, but I'm going in here first. They're bed. Shower, I take it. Wonder who this might be. Travis. Oh, Margo. Record. I just woke up. It's. I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of. Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. With the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No oh, different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. 
None of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp before the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself. To a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia. And her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Oh, wow. Is the end of the world nightmare actually happened? I mean, people have that kind of dream all the time, but... Really? I mean, to actually have that nightmare after the world has ended. I see a few holes in the floor. Nothing in here. I don't think there is. So I'm going that way. I'm going this way quickly. Okay, closed door. And as if by cue, there is another. Charles runs. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Pake I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saidi zygos I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Wow, end of the world, and basically he is moaning about what he did to facilitate the next generations when they got there. Hang on, that might be an auxiliary power supply, because it looks like it has an auxiliary power supply there. Basically, some of these people have become the people I actually thought they were going to be. Stay well. Nothing so far. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed. Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Did I, did I get them? Wow, 
Right, look at how full they are now. That was never... Are there two scanned glyphs I haven't found yet? I wonder where they are. Is that just... Oh, SSDs. I think I've scanned them, I mean, I hope so. Aha, uh, uh -huh. so we're going up here, okay. And duck and go. Elizabeth, what is this? See that in the middle. The first thing I do, go around the outside. Okay. What is in here? Do I really need to be doing this right now? There's only supplies. There's nothing in here, is there? Hmm. That actually felt like a waste of my time going down there. I was actually expecting a, maybe a readable or, or a log or something. What do I find? Supplies, thank you for that. Right, so I can't get through that door yet. And this is going to turn up after I've been down to the main shrine, I suppose. Not seeing anything. This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we sent someone out or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think. Oh no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's alright. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end. So, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And... Uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, alright? Liz. I'm okay with this. That 
That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Wow. She did the ultimate sacrifice. There was no ways about it. There was a seal that was not sealed. And the energy signature bled out into the world. The swarm picked up on it and they were coming. She had to do what nobody else could do. And that was to sacrifice herself. For all we know, she could be out there right now. Either maybe wandering the world, maybe? I don't know. She could be in the Forbidden West. In the Frozen Wilds. I don't know where the hell she is. I mean, if we could ever find her body somewhere, I mean, that'd be awesome. Give her a proper burial. For the amateur a sacrifice, not to let them do it, but she did it without even confiding in them and just... It's a bit like my work ethic right now. Do what needs to be done. And also ask others to do what you are willing to do. Right, let's rest in peace. Hello, Liz. I know. I know you're never going to hear this. That's not the point. You, uh, oh, alive? you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Did Pharaoh make it down here to go out prime? Travis Tate. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kind of creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Yeah, they all really respected her. I think Bronson had something. You'd to hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg, I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... What? Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one. I miss you. Did he just say what I think he just said? I couldn't... I couldn't think I could hate seeing another one of them. So there's been more than one of her. As we know with Aloy, but Gaia Prime initiated this Aloy. This Elizabeth Sobe to rebuild everything. Silence, please. Eloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. 
While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Stop acting like a machine, which I think he is part of a machine anyway. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Maybe her home was in Mother's Watch. Ulithia 9. What if she made it there and made a special embryo of her? What if she got there? I know this is bad tracking, I know this is stupid, and I want to do it anyway. Right, let's just... Ha ha! I knew it! You had to do that before this even turned up. You need your runtime check. Alright, let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein, may I speak outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor. You are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. Okay. That was well worth going back over here. For some reason I thought there might be something over here and I was... Unless I didn't see it when I went over there. Can I go this way yet? Why, but I just had that feeling there was more. Because if you remember, I came in here. I said there was nothing in here. We had to go through that entire shrine section to find out. <coughs> Hello, Margot. How are you holding up? Um, Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margot, I'm sorry. With Liz. Gone. We've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates. Constant updates. Hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. 
I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimod Cuckoos. What can he do? What can he do indeed? Though I right, I never liked that guy from the beginning. Uh, how many more is there? Rest in peace, Travis Tate. She runs on check. I mean, there's not that many left now. But there's a lot more word data points that I've missed. Machine's done. There's two scanned glyphs I haven't got. I'm not sure where they are. Okay, here we go. Alright, snowed off door. Can't get through there. Where's that sunlight coming from? Oh hello, you were in the way, way. The future. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not tablum, Les. It's poison. What? There's going to be one final defense system. But this quietness is unnerving. And I don't like it. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored. You found the control room. I'm on my way. Nothing I can see, so let's keep on moving. <laughs> oh god, I thought we were gonna drop then. Oh so. I don't think that storm bird was the only thing that's in here. Don't get me wrong, that storm bird was tough. They call me a pragmatist and thinking that we've got more than just a big enemy. See the ground buckling. The solution. I've, I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end it's simple. It's clean, it's Clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make it better, Liz. With a single stroke, make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. Neither do I. Did Pharaoh screw it up again? That's what I am. I'm blind. No. I should have thought that was never going There. Please tell me that Pharaoh did not screw this up. Because if he did, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. And in here. Oh, hello. 
I was gonna go left then, but it's taken me into this. Oh, we're gonna find the bodies. They all died in the control. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. Oh. But the Alphas were in there. Hang on, there's more. I know there is. Why is there this big hole? Right here. What's in there? That's fine. Don't need that anyway. All the Alphas of the project were in here. Was Ted Farrow in here? I got a feeling they either one committed suicide or two Farrow killed them. Or Travis Tate. If it was Tron if it was Ronson I'd be really really peeved about it. There we go. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Farrow. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is, um, I said, stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents, those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone, all of it, every oh, copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. We could have learned from the mistakes. People nowadays still are not learning from the mistakes of the past, and yet he just made the biggest mistake. He, he killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved all the knowledge of the old ones evaporated turned to dust scattered to the void like the alphas themselves no not a void when the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind it took them out among the world they made the world we're living in it's it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. You're not doing quite well out there. 
All right, I got a few fundamentals that are completely wrong, but I got the master override. The master override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. What's the better? When I get out of here, something's gonna happen. To you people, I kneel and I bow my head. You created the world we live in. But it's Pharaoh that screwed it up. It's my bloody usual. Thinking he could make people innocent. Dumb schmuck. The minute I heard that recording, I thought to myself, he's done something. He's done something. That didn't sound good. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Yes, thank you for that. And that sounded like a thunder jaw. Either that or it's a death man. Oh my goodness. How the hell am I going to get down there? Aha. Uh -huh. Keep holding, keep holding. Just heard that was either something smacking hard into a piece of metal work, work or that's one of the death rings. Or, and I hate to say it, it might just be a Hades class just landing on our roof. As in, sorry, the Horus class with Hades built in. That's the bad feeling I have got. Uh, this one. It's only sent me one way. I don't think there's any more, but I will have a quick scour. Uh, you're here Good. for a moment what our journey together has come to an end Aloy but before I go I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story go on some time ago I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse but I never told you the full extent of my culpability the truth is I was there at the beginning I found Hades Aloy buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Yeah. Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, She's just telling him. Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Thank you. Yes. Ian. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. Tell me everything now, you 
Ignoramus. And I can call you something even worse if you want. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. I've got time. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the Jewel. Hades? So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. Spire. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. Why the Kaja? I know they were the, the dominant tribe at the time. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. They didn't care about Meridian, they just cared about profit and getting back what had been apparently stolen from them. But it was liberated, not stolen. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Really? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. <laughs> the ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. So Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. Oh. So when we were in the Faro building, they had a thing where they were all about putting a back door into the the Hearts Team or Swarm. But they told them Black Quartz was not allowed in any of their tech, if I remember rightly. But why did you betray them? What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. 
The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. Oh. Why have you got tech installed in your body? That's the bit I want to know. Why? When did you find out about me? So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. <laughs>